Yes. What is going on guys, Zio here, and recently, I have been going to the gym every night to play some basketball, and I always come up against some 6-7 player who just seems to dominate me, and all I can really do is just keep stepping back and shooting a bunch of threes, because I am only 5'11", and you know, when a guy is like a whole foot taller than you, there's really nothing you can do, and you have to be so creative, and it makes it so much harder to score, so today in FIFA, I thought, why not give some more power to the short people, and in today's foot draft, we're going to be picking the shortest players from each selection, so let's just get straight into this. As you can see, 15,000 coins, no biggie. And uh, let's see what formation we get. So we do get the 4-5-1. I do like this formation quite a lot. The 3-5-2 doesn't really have the defense. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go actually with the 4 the four one four one. I think I can use it. Let's just see who the shortest player is. We have to pick the shortest player no matter what. If the players are the same height, then we can choose what player we want. But as you can see, Gwaitan is 5'8", so even though there is Latan, we have to choose Gwaitan because he is the shortest player. Now let's start off with the goalkeepers as I do. And this position, we're, again, we're going to choose a short goalkeeper at six foot one. So we do get Julio Cesar or Oblock. Oblock is better. La Liga, I'm going to choose Oblock since they were the same height. And yeah, hopefully we can still get a pretty decent team out of this. So for our backup goalkeeper, this guy just... You know what? Okay, he's not the shortest, but look at... I mean, you have to... When his name is Zeal... You have to choose him. Zealer right there. I don't even care how tall he is. His name is Zeal. We have to choose him. But yeah, let's get on to the reserves and see who we get. That's going to be the only exception. As you can see, there is a 5'9 player and he happens to be the worst one, Lopez. And uh, yeah, we just get a standard goal player out of all of those selections. Hopefully we can still get some good players right there. I see Neymar. Hopefully he is the shortest. And yeah, so Neymar or Matuidi, we're going to choose Neymar, of course, 97 Neymar, you just have to choose him. And uh, yeah, I think this team's going to be a lot of skillful players. And right there, we do get Robin as well, but uh, actually, Bakuri Sanya is the uh, shortest player right there with 5'9". And uh, yeah, let's just keep going through this pretty quickly. Oh my goodness, look at that Chiellini. And we don't even get to use him, we have to choose either Hops. I'm going to choose Matuidi at 5'7". And uh, yeah, so far the team's actually looking pretty decent. Matt Tweedy, although he is short, is a very skillful player and very physical. So he definitely will help the midfield. As you can see, 91 physical, we get Moeller there. And oh my goodness, I see my favorite striker, Lewandowski. And we have to choose Nazari or Vallejo. I'm going to choose Vallejo because it's not often that your center mids are going to be the shortest players. Usually it's going to be wingers. And right there we get Messi. Is it going to be Messi? We get Lionel Messi, 98, team of the year Messi. He is the shortest player. That helps tremendously with the team. And uh, Robin again, man. Robin really wants to join our team. But we're going to have to choose Nangolan. And he is actually a very good short player because, again, he does have high physicality. So he's going to make up for all the other short players out there. And uh, five foot seven right there, we get this dude. I don't even know who that is. Brizuela. And, uh, yeah, so far the team's looking pretty nice. That Messi, man, that saved us pretty much. And we do get informed James Milner. Not a bad little pick right there. And uh, yeah, let's just keep building this team. Um, who's going to be the shortest here? It's going to be this dude, isn't it? Yep, the worst one on the list. Gone all now. Let's go into our right back position. Um, five foot, five foot ten. So that's actually a decent height. I'm actually going to choose Hector Bellerin because um, I feel like we're not going to have the aerial threat that we need. So we might as well get the fastest players out there. And the uh, center back, we do get a 5'11 player. That's not too short. That should be decent enough. I mean, that's basically Sergio Ramos' height. Um, left center back, who's it going to be? 6'1", so that probably is going to be the tallest player in the entire team. And 6'1", definitely isn't too bad. So over to the left back position, we do get this guy. Where I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. But yeah, he is 5'7". Definitely not a tall left back, but uh, wow, we do get Vidal right there, I wish. 5'8", it's going to have to be Diara. Yep, Diara. We didn't get Pogba or Vidal, two of the best center mids in FIFA. And uh, yeah, we had to choose Diara. So now we got a 5'11 choice between these two. Is that the Bundes? Nope, that's the EFL Championship. So we're just going to pick this dude since he is Cal COA. And uh, I still say Serie A, but yeah, they did change that. Anyways, Conte. I'm, I'm sure Conte could be the shortest. Or Iniesta. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're going to have to choose Iniesta. Team of the year, 95. Andres Iniesta. What a pull right there. He's going to link up with that Messi nicely. Get him on some chemistry. And uh, please, going to be Zaha. Zaha's actually quite tall at 5'11". So we either get Visca at 5'8". 
or Santos. I'm going to choose Santos just because he's a bit taller, or a bit faster. I mean, of course, he's not taller. We're choosing the shortest players out here, and uh, this one really doesn't matter. We'll choose this guy for some Irish luck, and uh, yeah, I'll get to you guys back when I build the team. Alright, so here is the team that we managed to build. It does have the Team of the Year Messi, Iniesta in the midfield, and then we put the Neymar up top since he does have the 5 star weak foot. I feel like that would be a bit better than having the Messi up there. And then we also got Matt Tweedy Diara in the midfield. Our defense is a little bit, you know, suspect, but it does have James Milner, 70 pace. He might have to crack some long shots, free kicks, stuff of that nature. We do have Bakary Sanya at 5'9 playing center back, but that's to get the chemistry way up. And then we also have Ruiz Bellerin for the pace. And then odd luck in net. I think this team is actually pretty decent. Um, hopefully, you know, we won't get too much corner goal scored on us and stuff of that nature. Hopefully, we can win all four games. Let's get into the first match and see how far we can go. Okay, so coming up against the first opponent. Team of the year, Suarez, Ramos, Neuer, 98, Ronaldo, Wayne Rooney, Royce. Very good team, Nangolan. And, uh, or Nangolan, I don't know how you say it. Danny Alves, team of the year. Wow, four team of the year players. This should be fun. Let's get into it. No, he's through. Oh my goodness, so he's up 1-0. And basically, we're playing on one bar connection because I was trying to find an opponent for about 10 minutes or so. I couldn't find anyone. I came up against this dude, one bar connection. I decided to play it. Didn't think it'd be that bad. It's terrible. So uh, yeah, hopefully we can get this win though. I don't want to end it after one round. We're not going to go home without a fight though. Let's, let's battle on. Back to Messi. If Messi truly is the GOAT, then he needs to save us. Good Burba spin. Good ball right there. Oh my goodness, what a save by his defender. I thought for sure that was the tie. Let's play this let's play this corner short. Let it mega us. And yeah, that that's just not gonna work, is it? <laughs> this might be our last attack. We see him out wide. We give it to Hector Bellerin. Good cut in. To Neymar. Oh my goodness, what a save! No! No! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, we just lost to one of the worst opponents I've ever faced in my entire life. This guy was honestly dreadful, we were dominating. As you see, one of our guys even gets man of the match. But um, yeah, the lag just, it didn't allow me to do anything. As you can see though, we did have more possession. I don't know, we had more shots on target, if that means anything. But uh, I'm telling you, we were dominating this match. The whole time it was in his attacking half, but he did get some counter attacks and basically with the lag he just sent through balls to Suarez and he was faster than James Milner etc and Bakary Sanya so he was able just to overpower my defense and then slot one home in the early minutes and uh, yeah there were so many opportunities I had but as you can see we did lose 1-0. Man said fuck it. We're gonna be going into another foot draft. We're gonna be picking the shortest players again because the shortest players they will win. We're going to use a 4-3-3 formation. We're going to be flying through this. Who's the shortest? Is it going to be Lionel Messi again? Yes, it is. So we got Team of the Year Messi again. That is what I'm talking about. And as you can see, we're just flying through this. Who's the shortest? I don't even care right now, but how did we lose that last match? I think it, yeah, I think it was this guy. Maybe we need to slow down a little bit, but it was Cardinale. And uh, yeah, that game was just lagging so badly that uh, it was just so hard because I usually play where... Um, I pass a lot around in their opponent's box and it kind of, you know, it makes it nearly impossible when the game is lagging and it didn't probably seem like it was lagging but the response time when you actually pressed pass did take a little bit so this dude was 5'7 IU and uh, yeah hopefully we can do better this match I'm not going to join it unless it is a um, good connection we get Alexis Sanchez right there that is a very nice pull indeed. Um, who is going to be in this one? I believe, oh my goodness, it would be the one where we don't get to choose Ronaldo because we got to choose the 5'8", Zabaleta. That's just not what you want to see. Uh, who's 5'9"? These two. I'm just going to go full on for Benega right there. 84 rated. That looks like a very nice little center mid to have. Um, is it going to be this dude again? Yeah, it is. The Goriero, whatever his name is. And uh, yeah. 5'7 right there, Guardado, very nice little pull right there, and I, oh, okay, it's going to be Neymar probably, yes it is, that's very nice, so we got Neymar and Messi once again, the two short Barcelona players, are we going to get Iniesta again, probably not, but uh, yeah, we do get Payet right there, was Mkhitaryan the same height, no he wasn't, so we do have to choose Payet, I was going to say that Mkhitaryan looks very nice, 
Um, who are we going to get right here? We get Valero. You know, this team, again, is looking pretty nice, but... Yeah, I'm kind of still bummed that we didn't win that. That's why I'm playing again, though. I got to get you guys some good gameplay, some good packs. I don't even know if I'm going to show the packs. There are two 5k packs that we got. And then we also did get, like, a... I don't even know, just a standard loan card of, like, an 80-rated player. Like, thanks, EA, you know, I really... Oh, my goodness. Wait a second. No way. We get Kyle Walker. That is insane. 5 foot 10 was the shortest, so we actually get Team of the Season Kyle Walker. I almost just press X right there. But, uh, oh my goodness, Team of the Year Sergio Ramos, again, at 6 feet tall, is uh, available for us. This team is looking nice, I'm not going to lie. 5 foot 11, we do get this dude, which actually works because he links up. But onto the left back, who are we going to get right there? 5 foot 9, is that really? Yeah, 5 foot 9, so he does have 82 pace, and he actually links up with the Portuguese link pretty nicely right there. And, uh, wow, are you... Oh, <laughs> we get Team of the Season Isco. How is this team actually looking insane? I have no idea. I mean, we passed up on a 99 Ronaldo, and the team's still looking good. You know, not often. And we get Lalana right there, the best player of that selection, 5'8". And uh, does it doesn't even really matter right here. 5'9", we get this dude from New Zealand. Um, yeah, he's just going to go straight onto the bench. I don't even want him to think he's in the team. Let's just sub him out immediately. And uh, let's see who our striker is going to be. If it's Gomez, then... That yeah, I knew Gomez was short. Oh my goodness. 99 pace, 97 pace. This team is actually freaking insane. Um, yeah, 5 foot 4 right there. Insigne. Wow. This team is looking very nice. We're going to put Isco in the middle and uh, see who we have on the bench. Maybe Neymar. Yeah, we'll just put Neymar there. Like, who cares, honestly? Uh, and then the goalkeeper. We're going to sub him out for this dude since he's better, even though there is no chemistry whatsoever. And um, I think that's how the team's going to be. This guy's from the Liga Santander. Should we just do this? Like, 82 pace. He's somewhat fast. Guardado can play left back. He uh, has the high defensive work rates. Yeah. So we're going to play the team just exactly like this. We'll put Sanchez on the bench. Let's get into a match. And uh, yeah, I'm going to show you guys the goals that I did get in this match. Hopefully that will speed it up. Don't want to make this video too long. And uh, yeah, let's hopefully win this game. Alright, so here's the first opponent we're facing. You can pause it if you want to see the team. But yeah, you, you know the players. Ronaldo, Neymar. Let's get into the map. Yes, that's the first uh, real attack I had. And uh, he gave away a penalty kick. We're going to take it with our best uh, PK shooter. We want to score this. And uh, then hopefully just secure this W and uh, move on to the next round. So Isco does have a 98 penalty kick. Please score it. Yes, Isco makes it 1-0. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Gomez. Yes, Gomez makes it 2-0. We should have this game in the bag. Let's get it. And we see Messi right there. That's got to be 4. Yep, 4-0. We're going to pause it. Hopefully he quits. They get the hint. And uh, yeah, they they should be out of here. And I guess they want to stay for more. So uh, let's just give them more then. Alright, so coming up against the second opponent, we won that first game like 4-0. Um, yeah, this team looks a lot less scary to say the least, but it's still awesome good players. Let's get this W though. Wow. You know, honestly, all credit to him. That was an insane little uh, McGeady spin right there. Left footed finesse shot off the post. 1-0. We're definitely going to have to play better. Uh, I think we can come back. We got plenty of time. Let's do this. wide open net somehow it fell in I don't even know who scored that um I'm pretty sure that's an own goal but somebody is celebrating on my team and uh, I guess East Coast taking credit for that why not take credit for it man 1-1 one, one. let's get it okay so he just scored right there he pretty much did deserve the goal from the 54th minute or so and uh yeah now we're back down to being down 2-1 um you know, I think it's been a pretty even match. Hopefully we can get this goal, though, because I don't want to lose after one win. This is my second attempt. Let's get this comeback going. Come on. This could be our final attack. And that was terrible. Yep. <laughs> so with our final attack, 
there was a goal, but not for us, for him. That's 3-1. That's going to do it for this game. We definitely are not coming back from this. Um, you know, well played to my opponent. He actually was a better opponent than um, me. You know, most of the time when you lose, you kind of blame it on EA, but this time... He definitely was the better opponent. I think we had a very even match, but, you know, he happened to win. And uh, I'm not really caring anymore. He can score this if he wants it. So, yeah, four. I guess it's going to be four to one. Um, I'm still going to say three to one because I really was just kind of looking at the uh, the microphone and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, shout out to him. He was a pretty good opponent right there. Um, kind of unlucky that we didn't do better. Usually when I do the foot draft, on average, I'll make it to about the third game. And then occasionally... I'd say about 30, one third of the time I make it to the final, or um, win the finals, and then the other third I make it to the finals, and then the final third I get to the semifinals. So, you know, to lose in the um, quarterfinals, not the best, but uh, yeah, shout out to him. It's 3-1. to one. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Um, yeah, we're just going to open up the pack, see if we get anything good, which I doubt it, but you never know. There might be a sprinkle of hope right now. Let's see what our rewards are. As you can see, 4-1. to one. I guess he did dominate me, but I don't really shoot that much. Usually when I do shoot, if you've seen my other videos, I am very uh, proficient. So whenever I usually do shoot, it always ends up as a goal. And uh, yeah, we get two gold packs and a jumbo pack. Let's see who we get in them. Alright, so in the first gold pack that we do get, we're going to let it play out. We get a rare. Wow. Is that Kyle Walker? Nope. That's Nathaniel Klein. Yes, we get another under six feet tall player, five foot nine. Let's get it. Yeah, I'm just, I'm done. <laughs> Don't like the short players anymore. Um, but yeah, comment down below what you guys want to see next in the foot draft because I might as well do some foot drafts and stuff like that until FIFA 18, until the actual fire content comes out. And uh, yeah, we're just going to quick sell that. But if you want to see, you know, maybe the tallest players in the foot draft or maybe like the strongest, something like that, whoever weighs the most, I don't even know. We get another rare right there. Who is that? Uh, I believe that's the X man city player Kolarov. So yeah, I guess that's decent whatever. We're going to make about 7k just off quick selling it. I really don't care who is in that. But as you see, we basically got enough for another foot draft. So if you want to see me do any foot draft in particular, then comment that down below. Anything, be creative with it. And uh, yeah, thank you guys once again for 100 subscribers. Hopefully you did enjoy this video regardless of the outcomes. Uh, yeah, I definitely underperformed in there. But you know, what can you say? You gotta just uh, take your shot, hope for the best, and uh, yeah, it's been Zeal. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.